When you're out in the field hunting with a handgun, one of the key things to keep in mind is to try to find some level of support, not only for yourself, but for, but for the firearm you're using. A lot of times when you're out in open country like this, you don't have a tree or something to base yourself off of, so shooting sticks can be a good friend. If you don't have shooting sticks, there's still a couple ways we're going to show you how you can get that level of support to make that accurate shot. If I have my shooting sticks, one of the things I always wanted to do in practicing this, of course the gun is unloaded, is to have at least three levels of contact of support. So when I'm sitting down, we count that as one level. The gun on the shooting sticks is two. My elbow on my knee is three. Now if I really want to enhance that shooting position, I can go ahead and put both elbows on there. And that's going to give me a nice rock solid shooting position, not only for the gun itself, but for my elbows, and it's very comfortable. You can actually sit here in this position for quite a long time if you have to wait for that game to move for the opportune spot. Now let's say I don't have my shooting sticks. I forgot them in the truck, didn't think I was going to need them, so now I've got to find some way I can support this. Well, depending on what revolver you're using, weight is going to be a factor. So basically, you're going to repeat those steps the best you can without the shooting sticks. So again, on my knees or flat on my butt, whichever way feels comfortable, the gun brace two and two, and then out here. So basically, all I've done is remove the shooting sticks, but I still have those three levels of contact with my butt being one, my elbows on my knees as two and three. Another great shooting position is to be able to lay prone. Now, obviously, in an area like this where you've got a lot of tile and brush, that's going to be kind of difficult, but if we can ever get in an elevated position or we're shooting down into a canyon, um, anywhere where we have a clear field of view, getting prone is going to allow us to get those three levels of port and really enhance our shot. So just to kind of walk you through there getting prone, obviously just like you would with your rifle, we want to go ahead and get all the way out, use our pack as our level of support either for the gun itself or just for our wrists. So even in this position, even though the gun is not technically supported underneath the crane, I still have four levels of contact. I have one, both my legs, both my elbows, and then the pack is almost serving as a fifth level because it's able to help take some of that weight off. So again, I have a nice stable shooting position and I'm able to really get on my target. 